OffshoreInsiders.com sports betting report for this Monday, April the 19th. I'm CEO Joe Duffy. I've been a professional sports handicapper for you since the score phone days. May the 1st, 1988 is when I started, and I'm still in the business. Got some clients that have been with me since the 80s, since the 90s. Some of them, you know, just the last 10, 15 years. Nobody retains clients like I do because nobody wins like I do. But really, the bigger story today is Stevie Vincent, one of the biggest sales ever. Vincent, his 100-day package, Stevie Vincent, normally $24.99. Get the next 100 days for $14.99. And we've only had sales at OffshoreInsiders.com this big since the lockdown and the economic shutdown. These are extreme times. And what do they say? Extreme times call for extreme measures. Visit OffshoreInsiders.com. Why don't we start out, uh, we'll mix it up. Let's go with the biggest line moves of the day in the NBA. The world opener to the current line. Detroit and the NBA open up as a one and a half point favorite to Cleveland. They're now getting three points. So that's a pretty significant line move. Miami opened up as a nine and a half point favorite to Houston. They're now only laying six and a half. Denver opened up at four and a half points to Memphis. They're now laying seven and a half. And if these numbers vary a little bit from what we have at JoeDuffy.net, this was recorded a little bit later than the report filed on JoeDuffy.net. We're doing it in real time, so this one is more up-to-date. Your free winner from Joe Duffy's picks is to go with NBA, Washington minus the 12 against Oklahoma City. Large favorites have actually become a very good bet. Since 2016, under the specific circumstances that apply in this game, it's 256, 149, and 9. And look, I think the number, the reason is pretty simple why favorites have become better plays, big ones, because with all the rules favoring up tempo, you got more possessions, and the advantage is higher than before to the more athletic and faster teams and teams with more depth. So that's, that's why it is. That's why big favorites have actually been good plays recently. Washington minus the 12. Some NBA trends for you. Uh, Phoenix, 45-22 and 22 ATS run. Oklahoma City, 35-16 and 16 on the road. Denver, over 48-28-1 as favorites. San Antonio, under 33-15. and 15. Major League Baseball, Tampa 42 and 20 if the total's between six and a half and eight and a half. Kansas City's going under 19 and four in uh, to AL teams when the total is six and a half to eight and a half. Now here is a uh, public betting information. Who is the public betting on? Biggest bets in the NBA in terms of the percentage of bets. So, in other words, again, a $5 ticket counts the same as a $5,000 one. That is because most people who like contrarian information fading the public really prefer betting the smaller player. And, you know, so for contrarian information, if anything, a lot of people would argue, a lot of the contrarian players would argue the $5 better, who he or she is betting on is more important than who the $5,000 better in. But we're going to tell you about the money, too. Detroit, 65%. Golden State, 64 Like I said, this year has been strange for plenty of reasons, but also when the public is actually betting on underdogs. Now, in terms of pure money, where therefore a $5,000 bet would count a lot more than a $5 bet, or about a thousand times more. Utah, 96% of the money on them. 93% of the money is on the Boston Celtics. And some sharp versus square metrics measuring the tickets versus the money and seeing where the money is leaning relative to the tickets. The sharp bets would be Boston. These are all NBA, by the way. Utah Jazz. And they would be the two biggest. And again, because of the, you know, we're talking about the spread or the total here, it's a little easier to kind of more objectively measure it than it would be in Major League Baseball where we're dealing with the money line. So this is a very good uh, um, way to measure who the public is betting on, more so when it involves either the point spread or a total. So please, again, visit OffshoreInsiders.com where you've got one of the great sales. You've got Master Lock Line, although off of a rare losing day in the NHL yesterday, one of the greatest NHL seasons ever. 
and uh, all kinds of great stuff at offshoreinsiders.com. In fact, Joe Duffy's picks, fairly rare case where everything is 8, 10 Eastern or later tonight, all at offshoreinsiders.com. Bet it, sportsbooks as well.